Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line, and today's topic is quick sanity checks on extrusions. So the question that was submitted is based on a profile of a line tolerance of 0.24 millimeters, what would be an acceptable approximate linear tolerance, in other words, plus or minus millimeters, for a wall thickness? We're looking at internal guideline to help those who work with calipers rather than full contour measurements, which honestly are pretty uh, complicated to measure unless you have something like a CMM or optical comparator when we're talking about aluminum extrusions. So let's take a look at the drawing that we see here. This is the drawing that was submitted with the question and we see that we have a contour or a extrusion profile that looks like this and we have a profile of a line all around pointing to this surface and the internal surface as well. So if we have all around, that means you start here and you go all the way around that profile until you come back to itself. So that's one outside profile we're controlling, but we're also controlling the inside profile with profile of a line since we have two arrows here. And that's going to start here and then go all the way around as well. So we know we're controlling both of these profiles. And what's uniquely happening here is we're controlling both of them to simultaneous requirements. That means they're being checked simultaneously with respect to each other as well. So we have a tolerance zone centered on both of these nominal profiles, and we're making sure each profile fits its own specifications, as well as being located and orientated or checked at the same time with respect to the other profile. We also have a couple basic dimensions on this drawing defining the height of this part and the width of this part, as well as the wall thickness, which is the main focus of this question. If you were to try and check this extrusion somewhere during the process of manufacturing with a caliper or probably more or less a micrometer, you would check the wall thickness at various locations. So you might check it here, or you might check it here, or you might check it here. Wherever you would check those wall thicknesses, you would like to have some sort of sanity check as to am I passing the wall thickness? Is there something going wrong with my process? Now, simply checking the wall thickness is not a specification on this drawing at all. We're only checking to make sure both of these profiles meet their specification of profile of a line of 0.24. However, we might be able to do a quick sanity check to make sure that at least the wall thickness is coming out, right? Um, now, that's not a full check. That is not checking profile of a line. Don't get it uh, skewed here. This is just simply a sanity check, although it's a good one. What we can do is we can picture the profile uh, of a line tolerance zones that are created by this specification. So if we picture the outside surface, the outside surface gets a tolerance zone around that contour, again, you would likely have basic dimensions or a CAD model or a DXF defining the ideal or nominal profile. And what you'll do is you'll offset normal to that ideal nominal true profile either direction and create a zone in all directions of that true profile. And you'll get a zone. That zone's width is 0.24 uh, millimeters. And so we can see we have this zone centered at the true profile. Now, as long as the entire surface, that outside surface, is inside this zone, it passes its own specification. So we can see here that as long as all the elements are inside that zone, we're good. So if we're checking this element right here, it can go out 0.12 and it can go in 0.12. This one can go out 0.12 and in 0.12, right? We have a total zone for each one of those elements of 0.24, centered at the true profile defined by the CAD model or basic dimensions. Now, what we'll also see is we've linked these two together, right? We have a control that creates simultaneous requirements between these two profiles. So not only do we have a tolerance zone on the outside of this extrusion, we have a tolerance zone on the inside of the extrusion as well. And the elements that make up this inside surface have to be inside its own tolerance zone. And the tolerance zone width of that is also 0.24. So any element on this surface can go up or down 0.12 as well. So that means if we were to take a caliper or a micrometer and measure at this point or measure at this point, we could see that any element on that surface, the inside can go in 0.12 and the outside can go in 0.12, reducing that thickness from its nominal ideal thickness of 2.2 by 0.24. So we can shrink by 0.24, but conversely, we can also grow 0.12 out and 0.12 out, growing the width of that by 0.24. So it would be the equivalent of saying 2.2 plus 
or minus 0.24 anywhere on the thickness of this part. Now, as I previously mentioned, this is not checking profile of line here. It's only checking the local uh, elements with respect to each other. You could check here and have a good uh, thickness and check here, have a good thickness and check here, have a good thickness. In fact, you can get flawless thicknesses all around this part, but you could still potentially fail uh, the profile of the line tolerance. So again, this is truly just a sanity check, but it's a good one, right? It's, it's one parameter that we could keep an eye on as a manufacturer to see if we have good extrusions coming out. Now, we could also check some other parameters. Now, in the drawing, technically, this bottom surface is a little bit round. Uh, but if this bottom surface were truly flat, we could have a sanity check with some sort of caliper or a granite table and a height gauge to check this surface up here. If we were to do that, and we were to check from this flat surface down here to the highest point, we could do an equivalent sanity check. Now, this is not profile of the line check once again, but it's a good sanity check. You could see that this point up here can deviate up or down 0.12, so a total zone of 0.24. And you can also see that this surface down here can do the same thing. So the overall width of this can grow 20.7 plus or minus 0.24. Again, same on the width. But again, once we check these features, we can check them independently of each other, but we could have a flawless 20.7 and a flawless 37.1, but the profile still fail. It might just be trapezoidal, right? Uh, and so we truly, in order to check this specification, need something more advanced that checks all of the elements, internal and external, simultaneously to each other, and then compare them to where they should have been. But nonetheless, these sanity checks are very useful for the manufacturing process, and it's a great question. So hopefully this helps clarify some things, and uh, thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GD&T information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GD&T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GD&T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GD&T and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles